This will be a short but hopefully useful video on anyone looking for a Raspberry Pi compatible USB microphone. Last year I did a video on noise detection, neural network based noise detection, where we helps us train our dogs not to bark and also tracks various health related metrics like coughing, sneezing and snoring over time. I'm working on a new project where I hope to be able to identify and track birds by listening to the bird tweets. The key to making that work is to find a sensitive enough USB microphone that I can capture those bird tweets reliably. So I've gathered up four different microphones to measure their sensitivity. Let me show you those. So the first microphone is the most expensive. It's a $130 Blue Yeti microphone. I usually use it for recording tech videos. His little brother here is more affordable. It comes in at, I think it's $50. It's the blue snow microphone. Next up is a microphone usually used for conference calls. Uh, it's from a company called Tomar. He's at $30. And finally, we have the microphone I used in the uh, noise videos, which is from a company called Samsung with O-N, not U-N. Sam very popular um, Samsung Go costs $40. These three microphones, everyone but this one, can be set to either um, cartioid mode, which is favors sound in front of the microphone, or omnidirectional mode, which is what I have them all set to so that they can capture sound from all directions. I have them plugged into this Raspberry Pi 4 which I'll SSH into to perform the various tests. So I'm going to use Windows PowerShell, which is a really slick application from Microsoft that used SSH into a variety of machines. You can set up the menus to quickly jump to wherever you want. This is the Pi I have the microphones plugged into. I'm going to use Alsa Mixer to max out the sensitivity for each microphone. So you use F6 here to list all the microphones. So and then use F4 to pick the recapture option, and then use arrow keys to max them out. So I can make sure that we have all four microphones set to their maximum levels, and we're good to go. And we can use A record with the dash L option to list the various cards. So I have the four cards labeled, uh, they're numbered three, four, five, six, and we'll go through them one by one, using a record with this VV option, which will give us a crude command line viewfinder of the microphone sensitivity. So we'll start with the blue Yeti microphone. You can see down here at the bottom, as I speak louder, the view meter will go up. So I'm gonna play this random YouTube clip of uh, sound at a consistent level so we can get a consistent recording across all four microphones. So bear with me for this somewhat annoying sound. So he probably averaged 50 with a maximum of 60. So next we'll go to the Tonar microphone, card four. Probably an average of 30 with a max of 40. Next, we'll do the Go Mic microphone from Samsung card 5. Yeah, he's very sensitive. He's max of 100 with an average of 80. And finally, we'll close it out with the Snowball microphone, which is card 6. and he would be the least sensitive microphone. So that Samsung Go microphone is the most sensitive by quite a bit. If anyone knows of any more sensitive microphones out there, let me know. I suspect that parabolic microphone might work best for recording bird tweets, but in my application where I don't know which direction the bird is in, probably the omnidirectional microphones are the best solution. So as I promised, short video this month. Thanks for watching.